Okay, we're here with Joe Riley at Long Building Technologies, installing the Surefy Analog I.O., which allows us to receive and control sensors and components using variable voltage, amperage, and thermistor applications. And we'll show you how this interfaces with their building automation system. So we got a temperature sensor hooked up right now the, on the sensor interface. Then we have a 9-volt battery just to prove that 9 volts is making it to the receiver. And um, we have a switch that we will close a contact on this side and close an input on our controller at the in our electrical room. Okay, and I'm going to come over here and just look at the readings. Do you want to explain what we're looking at here? Oh, there we go. First point is the temperature sensor uh, reading through voltage. The second point is the battery, which is kind of drained right now. Um, the third sensor is the, or the third point is the voltage that we're sending to the receiver. And uh, okay, perfect. Yep. This is the receiver sensor. That's the that's the interface. It actually goes both ways. So we've got the uh, thermistor connected up to the sensor side of the interface, and we just put it in cold water and watching it adjust. It was at one volt. What are we at now? It's topped out around thirty or one point three volts. Point three. Okay. So here we've got the the controller side connected to a Jace right here, and uh, do you want to tell us what it is we got it connected into? Yeah, we got this so that will give us signal coming through here, coming up to an input, which will be read through the Niagara system. So we, I think we've got four points on this, right? Yep. So we've got uh, the battery testing, so voltage in. One output, three inputs. Okay, this analog I.O., when combined with our HVAC unit, they provide heavy obstruction penetrating wireless solutions for your building automation system. Together, they can integrate with things like exhaust fans, economizer modules, occupied motion sensors, uh, state alarms, heat pumps, chillers, boilers, airflow sensors, uh, temp, humidity, CO2, thermistor, things like that, um, light level sensors, discharge air, and a whole lot more.